Hello guys, in this video I'm going to create the font styles I'll be using in my project. So in the final project, I have about 6 styles I created. So to do that, let me first go open my browser and go to font.google.com. So I'll go ahead and search for the font I'll be using. So I'm going to use Source Sans Pro and I'll just type Sans over here. Now this is the font I want to use in my project. So all I need to do is to click on this plus icon over here and it shows at the bottom. So if I want to add any other font, all I need to do is to hit on the plus and it's going to be added. In my case, I'm only going to use the Sun Sans Pro I have selected here. So I'm just going to expand this. And if I want to customize uh, the settings of the font, all I need to do is to come to customize and add the settings I want to add to it. So I'm not going to do that. I'll come back to my embed. And before I copy the code, it says to embed your selected font in, into a web page, copy this code into the head of your HTML document. So I'm going to do just that. I'll right click on it and go to copy. Now I'll open my project and, and this time around I'm going to go to page. And that page there's site HTML and there's page HTML. I guess by now you know the difference between site HTML and page HTML. Let me just give you a brief about it. Now if I apply the code to site HTML, it is going to affect all the pages in my project. But if I apply it to page HTML, it's going to apply or affect this particular page only but since i want the font or the styles to be applied to all my font or my test in my project i'm going to go ahead and paste it in my site html so let me just bring my site html here and i'm going to paste the code in my head um, section of my html so i'll right click and just paste the code here i'll go ahead and click on ok i'll come back to my browser and there's another code i'm supposed to copy it says use the following CSS rules to specify these families. So I'm just going to highlight on this particular code, right click on it and copy it. I'll open my application again and this time around I'm going to go to tools. Under tools I'll go to style manager. Under style manager I'm going to click on add to create my first style. So I have a naming convention I use for my um, font or so my styles in my project. So I first start by the name of the font. I go by the size of the font. So this is going to be 10 and I go by the color of the font. So this is going to be gray. So I'm going to paste the style, um, the code I copied here that has um, custom styles. I'm going to paste that over here and I'm going to scroll down to the um, font section. So this is the font section. I'm going to change the size of the font to 10 pixels and I'm going to set the color to gray. So um, I'm going to select this gray here and I'm done for this particular font. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to create my next um, font and um, to do that I can either click on this and make a copy of it or simply come to add and do that there as well so in my case I'm just going to click on add paste my code here and I'm going to change this to sans underscore 11 underscore gray again and I'm going to change the font size and color to gray and 11 so let me just change this to 11 and I'm going to go ahead to change the color to gray. So I'll select the recent colors. That is, I have my gray here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now this time around, I'm going to um, make a copy of it. So I'll copy this one. I'm going to change the name. So I made this one, um, I think, L gray. Let me just take off this one. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit to change the gray i have here i think i made this gray a little bit lighter so um let me just select this is dark gray so let me just make this dark gray and change this to p so indicating that this is a dark gray i'm going to use in my project now the font size is going to remain the same that is 11 pixels i'm going to create another one which is going to be white let me just make a copy of it this so i'll copy this one and i'm going to change this one to um white I'll scroll down to the color section. The font size is going to remain the same and I'll change the color to white. Now I'll go ahead and create another one which is going to be 12 pixels black. Let me just continue it to copy. So this is going to be 12 pixels and the color is going to be black. Let me scroll down and change this to black and change the color, um, the font size to 12 pixels. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to create another one which is going to be bold um, gray and bold as well and the font size is going to be 16 let me just make a copy of this so this is going to be gray and uh, it's going to be bold and the color uh, the size is going to be 16 pixels so let me change this to 
16 pixels and I'm going to change the color to gray. So let me just go ahead and select this gray I have here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to create another one for 18 pixels. So let me just make a copy um, before I continue with that. Because this is going to be bold, let me just come back and select the bold option here. So I'm going to click here and select true since I want this particular font to be bold. I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'll make a copy of this. I'll change the name. So this is 18 underscore gray. And I'm going to change the size here to 18 pixels. So this is going to be 18 pixels. The color is going to be gray here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to create one more style, which is going to also be 18. So let me just make a copy of this. But this time around, this is going to be bolden. So let me just select bold here. And I'm going to change the uh, option for bold to true. And I think that is that. So I'll go ahead and click on OK and click on OK again. So we are done creating our styles. In our next videos, we take a look at how to use our styles in our project.